Alright guys, welcome back to another episode, and a little controversy with my channel, I'm still going to be doing YouTube, but I will I don't have a definite schedule anymore because I couldn't post once a week because I had nothing to record, really. But pretty much, what's been happening is, one, the ice, I couldn't go, I haven't been able to go ice fishing because the ice is quite not stable enough. Second of all, it's starting to get really freezing cold out right now, and I don't feel like going out there and freeze my butt off, <laughs> knowing that our uh, pop-up blind slash whatever you want to call it is still up in my cousin's cousin's place for him hunting. That's what I would use for a little protection. And yeah, that's pretty much what the ice fishing deal. Uh, all the unboxings kind of kind of didn't make the deadline for all those. Uh, for a lot of the, a lot of the what's called deals for Christmas and everything didn't make the deadline, but should be getting the order of something sometime to unbox for you and show you. And I actually did get the black Lucky Taco box. I've already unboxed this and everything, and it was our it was actually a Christmas gift that I got. So this is actually December's Lucky Taco box. So it's quite a little bit older than. Than what I'm probably later than everybody's posted, but oh well. But pretty much that's what's been happening with my channel. So, all right. So for future ideas, I ended up getting a drone for Christmas, not the super high tech one, but there's a camera right there at the bottom. Don't know if you could see that, but there's a camera. I got this nice blanket so I can cover this ugly looking table and. Sleep, sleep good and comfy. It's a super soft blanket too. It's got a deer on it, and yeah, got this lucky talk box too. All unboxes just as a bonus part of the video since we don't have anything. But I have a uh, got a deer, I got a deer calendar. I I am currently working at my cousin's, uh, not my cousin, my aunt's uh, calendar place in the mall. So I picked up a calendar, and so far for Saturday the seventh. There's a uh, white tail, white tail is unlimited uh, banquet. Pretty much what, what you do is you go there and there's a ton of hunting and outdoor stuff. You go there, pay to be a table and everything. If you want any more info, just shoot me a comment, shoot me a comment down below and I can get you the info. But it's, I think all the tables are full, so you have to wait for next year if you want to go. But I plan to make a video on that and then, the, and then the eighth. And the 15th, one of those two Sundays, I might be able to go try doing some ice fishing. I have to, I don't have an ice auger, so I'll have to borrow one from my uncle. So, that's pretty much, there we go. That's pretty much, like, what's going on, pretty much. <laughs> and what I have for future ideas, I am going to be doing so much uh, fishing this year. I am buying a, a, a frogging and punching set, a bunch of other lures, and ton of other stuff so yeah look for future stuff all right so on to this December lucky taco box first off you get in here I've already opened these baits so excuse me about that you get your their uh, what's it called this card that tells you everything that's in there so I'll go one by one on what there is so the first lure that you get in here in this month's bo and uh, December's box is this is a uh, Monster Bass Slim Gin 110. It's a uh, sl it's a uh, slow sinking swim bait, good for the winter months if you can fish on the open. Otherwise, I would use this in early spring and probably late fall. I didn't have hardly any jerk baits, so this is go good with my jerk bait collection. And this retails for about 11.99. So you're so you're getting your money back right now just by doing, just by buying this box. All right. So the next part is a Riot Baits Relic four count uh, baits. Let me pull one out for you. Comes in a nice tall plastic thing. Um, here they are. Looks like I got these. Look like green, kind of. Oh, they're black and blue on one side, and kind of green pumpkin on the other side, and these. Are, these would be perfect for 
especially punching, maybe doing some uh, just standard Texas rig and everything, I would definitely put a weight on this because, yeah, I put a weight on it. That way it gets down to the bottom and these th these little legs right here would go crazy. These retail for about $5.99, so there's about half your box right there. That's about $17 or so, but let's move on to the next lure. All right, so the next lure is these V&M 4.5 swim baits. Now, if you look at these closely, you'll notice the paddle tail is upside down. What that's supposed to, what that is designed to do is that way when it's when you're uh, rolling it through the water, the tail's gonna be giving up, giving off a lot of vibration and everything. But instead of kind of go, making it up, going up a little bit, it'll actually be uh, pushing the bait down to the bottom. So you'll be hugging the bottom a lot. And these, I think I got just, I think I got shad colored ones. Oh, these are really cool. Yep, these are pretty much just like your normal uh, swim, but your normal hollow body swim baits. Got some really good scent on them, a really good color. And here's another look at the tail. If you look at the tail closely, if it'll stop, if it'll stop moving. It is. It's supposed to go like this, and the tail will be like this up in the air, and they'll be flapping around, putting off a lot of vibration. That'll be a really good bait, especially come spawn, since when it comes to the spawn, which in here in Nebraska is usually around, um, usually around probably Mar probably March, April-ish, sometimes maybe late May, depending on how how cold it is and out and everything. So that's that one. Those retail for about five sixty nine. So this is a good chunk of money right there. So let's move on to the next lure. The next lure is this KVD. KVD Ocho six count. These are pretty much little stick little stick baits and pull one of these out. What's cool about the about Strike Kings is Strike King baits is they have a coffee scent, so definitely smell like coffee. Really oily and actually a little bit salty. These kind of have a, they're kinda of like the B Wall Prism baits. I don't know if you can see the the definition of it. There you go. Kinda of see it now. But it's got kind of a prism shape. These and I got green pumpkin in these, and these retail for about three ninety nine. So there's the there's the soft plastics. Now let's get into the two other lures that come in the extra. All right, so I lied about that. These we actually get um we actually get some mustad weedless worm hooks. They're super tiny little weed little hooks with the weedless guard on there. These you can use for drop shot or. Wacky rigging, wacky actually, I'd say wacky, but the best way to go that we don't get hung up so much. They're the light wire, so they're gonna be, they're super finesse. Could actually use for like other other fish than bass. Like if you want to go for walleye or crappie, you could easily go for them. Just yeah, this is the bass box, and you came in the bass box. So I'm guessing they'd be for wacky and drop shot, but. Let's get to the next lure, and th these two lures only come in the uh, they only come in the the XL. Forgot what I was gonna say. And first one is a uh, looks like Spool Tech four inch fatty lures, which is a small bait fish. And the cool part about this is pretty much you will never you're supposed supposedly never gonna lose a fish, especially if they get it. Because what's supposed to happen is when the fish goes to grab it and, and hits the hook or whatever, there's some kind of trigger that does something. I don't know, like, can't get it to work, but what it's supposed to do is this hook is supposed to fly out about, I think, a couple feet is what it says. Um, doesn't say how far, but it's supposed to fly out a little ways, about this far or so. And then it, it's a steel wire, so it's not going to break. And that gives you a better hookup because if they just swipe at it, you're not just going to pull it away. They're going to swipe, they're going to grab it, and it's going to go back, and then it, as they turn away, you're going to feel the thumb and you're going to set the hook. And when you get them and everything, there's going to be a big mess and everything. All you got to do is, right here is a little spool. All you do is wind it back up. That's all you got to do for this one. So that's the Spool Tech 4 inch fatty. It's a $15.99 lure, but. Alright, let's get in the last lure. So, this last lure that you get is a uh, Jenko Fishing CD20. It is a deep diving crankbait. And. Uh, dives about 20 feet and beyond, so it's a pretty decently deep diving crankbait. It is humongous, by the way. I mean, 
there's my hand right there. It fits in the whole entire car of my hand. It's got a great big bill on it, really good colors, and the hooks on them, I believe, are sticky sharp mustad hooks. It's supposed to deflect good, dive really good, and doesn't get hung up as much as other crankbaits, supposedly, and pretty much. It's not supposed to hurt, it's not supposed to break your arm while you're reeling it, so if, you're, if you reel crankbaits a lot, or like burning baits through the water or whatever, you notice that you, you some, see somehow, I don't know, you just, just get tired of it, you, your arm starts to get tired and everything, and you have to put that down and go to some sort of finesse or quit fishing for a little bit, or take a little break. But yeah, this one retails for $9.99, so about 10 bucks right there. And that uh, spool tech 4 inch fatty does come with replacement, uh, a replacement tail, so like a pike or musty or something, or someone with teeth gets it or gets tore up, then you can just switch them out. So that's pretty much it. That's it for the for the Lucky Taco Box. Sorry, this is a super late one, but that's pretty much it. And I'll catch you with the end, with the outfit. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. Sorry, I'm eating Skittles right now and I haven't been able to really upload. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Just do the usual and I will try to get out a video at least as soon as I can. I should be should be getting another video out by probably Sunday or Monday. It should be the banquet video. And that one will be kind of a, like a vlog style and a little review on what we get. Also, I will try to get some really cool drone footage out sometime, maybe the next time I go ice fishing or sometime. I'm still trying to learn to fly it. I actually have already broken the camera off there, so I have to fix that. And as you can tell right here, yeah, this drone isn't, it's a really expensive drone, but not really high quality made. I don't know if all drones are like this. It's my first ever drone, so I have no idea. I'm starting to get better at flying it. I, in fact, I actually got may sound mean, but I actually was chasing my dog with this thing. Kind of funny, he was running around in circles trying to get away from it, and I was just chasing him. Never hit him with it, so don't worry, no dog was injured or killed in this in this uh, little episode. But thanks for watching, and why not catch it with an outro?